Hello, and welcome to Global Water Partnerships Integrated Water Resource Management, or IWRM, Toolbox. My name is Nisha Midha, and I am an intern in the Communications Group at GWP. We hope that this video gives you a good overview of what the Toolbox is and who it's for. GWP produced the IWRM Toolbox with the vision of creating an internet-based repository for all knowledge on IWRM. We hope that the Toolbox is thus the first choice site for water practitioners, decision makers, and partners when they want to learn about IWRM. The goal of the Toolbox is to contribute to establishing a global communication platform, which develops capacity in IWRM and shares knowledge to ultimately improve the way water is managed. So why was it created? First and foremost, we wanted to share all of the existing knowledge and experiences of IWRM on one platform. We also recognize that IWRM is a complex concept, and we want to be sure that it's being described in an academic but also useful way. Another reason the toolbox was created is because there's so many examples of incredible real-life IWRM applications, and we want to highlight these. Last but not least, many other organizations and partners are producing useful reports, websites, and initiatives, and we want to be sure that these are easily accessible. So who's the toolbox for? It's primarily geared towards those who apply IWRM in their day-to-day -day work assignments. This includes, but is not limited to, trainers, practitioners, academia, and capacity builders of IWRM. Of course, the toolbox is also for decision makers who can and may impact water resources. So now we can move on to what the toolbox is. It consists of two parts, knowledge and learning. The GWP toolbox provides knowledge on how to manage water through two means, tools and references. The first part of this section contains 60 tools which cover the crucial components of managing water. The second part of knowledge consists of references, which range from technical papers to training manuals. To actually apply the water management knowledge, the toolbox also helps with learning. This is done through case studies, which help demonstrate the use to users how tools and references have been used all over the world. Let's briefly look at the 60 tools that make up the toolbox. The tools are organized under three thematic areas of IWRM, the enabling environment, the institutional arrangements, and the management instruments. The first set of tools are the enabling environment, this toolset is what establishes a foundation for better water governance. The policies, legal framework, and investment and financing structures of a place set the stage of how water resources may be managed. The next set of tools are under institutional arrangements. These tools identify key institutional roles and functions that need to exist for IWRM and better water governance to be achieved. The tools in this toolset also outline the importance of capacity building at all institutional levels. The third set of tools are management instruments. These tools include all types of methods that establish the context of existing water resources so that decision makers can make informed decisions and take adequate actions. We hope that you've enjoyed this presentation and, that we, and now that we, you have a better understanding of the GWP toolbox and how you may use it in your own work. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us at toolbox at gwp.org.